For those of you new here, welcome. My name is Katie. I'm a wife. I'm a mom and I work full time. I love makeup and skincare. I truly believe every single woman wants to look and feel her best. And I have the tools and the resources to help you get there. Not only am I going to bring you a St. Patrick's Day eye makeup look, I'm going to show you a technique with the new press powder to give you just a little bit of coverage, kind of make everything look fabulous. I did go ahead, I just started with my eye primer. The eye primer is great at allowing your pigments to pop, preventing them from creasing and holding them in place all day long. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Touch Glorious Face Primer. It is great at filling in your wrinkles and holding your foundation in place all day long. It makes the biggest difference in your makeup routine. So normally what you wanna do with your primers, you wanna let those set for about five minutes. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna keep it moving, I promise. Um, but I thought I would tell you um, some fun stories. One of them, check out my shirt. This is, this is what I call my St. Patrick's Day shirt. I love to shop at the Goodwill, okay? That's like, I love, I know not, so this is the thing. I love shopping. I should probably start with that, right? Like I love shopping. I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and my blending brush and just kind of put this um, as my transition color in the crease while I'm talking to you. So I love shopping. I love finding a good deal. If that is you, if you are like a shopper, drop a heart right now. Drop the hearts in the comments, drop the hearts in, you know, on the side, you know, all the love, right? But I also recognize some of you cannot stand shopping. It is not enjoyable for you. You just want to get in and out and do what you need to do. Uh, and so if you're that person, um, just drop a thumbs up, you know, like I get it. I'm not going to make you do the opposite of hearts. I'm not going to make you sad because again, it's just not your thing. Right. But for me, I love shopping. I love finding the best deal ever. Um, and Goodwill is the way to do that. Now, let me tell you what makes me really sad about Goodwill is when you go in there, you go shopping and you are looking for you know, something, right? Something specific. You find the cutest top ever. And you're like, yes, I know these three things I would wear with that top and a heartbeat. Oh my gosh. I love this. You check the size and you're like, damn, that's not my size. And so you're like holding it up and you're like, okay, could I make this work? You know, maybe it's too big. Maybe it's too small, whatever it is. <sighs> that is the worst. All right. So now I'm going to go in with the Moodstruck Addiction Shadow Palette number eight. This, you all, is the palette that comes in our beauty box right now. If you have not gotten the beauty box, you need it in your life. It's 13 full-size products for $99, including this amazing palette. This palette alone is $49, you all. So grab it in the beauty box. It is amazing. And it is the one that I'm going to be using today. The Moodstruck Addiction Shadow Palette eight. This came out around the holidays, I believe, or first of the year, first of the year. That's when it was, first of the year. I'm going to go in with Amazing. I love the names of these shadows. I'm going to put a little bit of that onto the end of my fluffy crease brush. This, you all, is the best brush ever. So what happens, okay, with Goodwill, let me go back to this story. I like to go to Goodwill the first Saturday of the month. The first Saturday of the month in Goodwill here in Indiana, at least, I don't know how it is at others, has a big sale, okay? Now I'm gonna take my blending brush. I'm just gonna blend out that harsh line because we don't want any of that. Uh, that is when they have 50% off. And I'm like, you know what? If I'm gonna get a good deal, I wanna get like a really, really good deal. So I go... First Saturday of the month, and that's when I do all of my shopping. Another good day to go is on Sundays when they have certain color tags for 99 cents. Okay. So, anyway, I'm in the Goodwill and it's March. Okay. This is not this year. This is several, several years ago. I've had this shirt for a long time now. And I thought to myself, you know what? I don't own any green. 
I don't own any green shirts or dresses or anything. I don't know why. It's not a bad looking color on me. I just, it's not a color I gravitate towards. I don't have any green. St. Patrick's Day is in, you know, however many days away at that point, you know, first Saturday of the month. Could, so it could literally be the first or it could be the eighth, right? Um, or even, yeah, I think that's right. Um, so it's like, okay, I've got to find a green shirt. So I feel like Goodwill kind of goes in phases. They try to organize things in different ways. Maybe to see if things sell better. I don't know. Now I'm going to go in with Jovial and my cream shadow brush. This is again, the palette eight. That's part of the beauty box. So I start going in and looking for a green shirt. And I wasn't sure what I was going to find because again, it's goodwill. Who knows what you're going to find, right? That's the beauty of it. And for me personally, when I shop at the goodwill, I, even before COVID, I don't like to have anyone in my area. I have my cart. I push my cart up against the clothes because this is the other thing. They have a lot of racks very, very close together. Um, and so there's not a lot of room to pass people. So what I do is I kind of shove my cart up underneath the clothing rack where I'm shopping. So that way I'm considerate, right? Like I'm letting people pass by me. Uh, while I'm doing my serious shopping. And then what I do is I take the clothes and I push them all the way down as far as I can in that particular section. And then I literally just thumb through every single hanger. I remember one time I took a friend with me and she was like pushing 10 hangers at a time. And she said to me, how are you finding all of these amazing good deals? Well, you have to be patient. You have to look at at everything because some things when you just look at it from the top or just really quick, you may not really get a sense of how cute it is. You also have to make sure you inspect your clothes when you're shopping at the Goodwill because there may be holes, tears, stains, and some things you can get out and then some things are just, you know, there's no hope. So you just gotta kind of look at it and take that all into consideration. Look at that gorgeous green look, I love it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just put a little bit more of that amazing in the outer corner. Because I just really like that green. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more of that Jovial. Press that on. So I'm going through, looking, looking, looking. I find this green shirt. And this, you all, I will tell you this. I do, have, I do own a little bit more green now. But this is my coveted St. Patrick's Day shirt. This is the one that I wear every single year for St. Patrick's Day. It has this cute little sequiny pocket because you all know me. I'm a metallic shimmery person that catches my eye. I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, I need this. Ah! So anyway, I just thought I would share that with you as well as some tips and tricks when shopping at the Goodwill. Be patient. Know that you are going to be frustrated at times because there are going to be things you see that are not in your size. And it's not like you're at Target where they have 20 things of the same thing. You know, it's like, this is a gem. So, but you can also find some really cool things. So, anyway, let's get into the makeup now. So, today I'm going to be applying the new Touch Complexion Complexion Plus Pressed Powder Foundation. So excited about this. This foundation has skincare properties in it. So, not only are you getting your amazing foundation, but you're also getting that coverage as well. So I talked a little bit about the clay that is in this product. This is also talc free. Um, and so uh, that's some things to kind of keep in mind if you're concerned about those types of products. But the clay is great at um, helping that kind of the makeup smooth onto your skin and not settle into your fine lines and wrinkles. All right. So what I'm going to do, one of the tips that they shared, um, whenever they were going through and talking about unique was talking about the new pressed powder was if you just want a little bit of foundation, use the new setting powder brush. I love this brush. You all, it is amazing. It is part of the special plus. So the special and just, you can use these keywords in the comments. Just say special if you need the link to the special. If you need help color matching, always just say match in the comments. But the special is primer, concealer, foundation, which I appear to have none of on my workstation here. 
foundation and a setting product. I love the Prime and Set powder. That's the one that is cooling to the skin. And then the special plus is these four products plus the, the powder, the new powder, and your choice of a face brush. You can either get the new setting powder brush, the powder concealer brush. The powder concealer brush is your best deal, okay? Because this is our most expensive face brush. And then you all know, though, if you don't have a stinking kabuki brush, you need the kabuki brush in your life. So anyway, it's these six products then for an even better, more amazing deal. I had somebody yesterday said, well, I just need, I just need the spray foundation and the new powder. This you all is 80 something dollars for $70 more. You get four additional products. Like you do the math in your head. Because let me tell you something, you will want a setting powder and a primer or a setting spray and a primer that is going to help your makeup stay on during COVID while we're wearing the mask. Everyone needs a great concealer that's going to cover up dark circles because we're all going to have rough days, right? Am I right? We're all, it's going to happen. That is life. That is the balance of life. Okay. So Anyway, just say special, special plus in the comments. All right, now, this new powder, check this out. It has a great applicator that pops out the side. Do you see that? This is technology, y'all, so cool, um, for when you're on the go, all right? Now, if you want just a little bit of coverage, again, you're gonna use your setting powder brush. I don't have any other foundation on you all, all right? I'm gonna just sweep this on. So you can see, yesterday I used the Kabuki brush. That was full coverage, right? Today, if I just want a little bit of coverage, I'm not wearing a mask today. I'm just, you know, running errands and I want just like a little bit of something. Look at that. Light coverage. Flawless, gorgeous coverage. And then you can build it on. And I'm just dusting this all over half of my face. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture. You don't know me. I love to take my pictures. Okay. I'm going to hold it up so that way everyone can see it. And you couldn't see the picture. So you'll have to go over to my Facebook stories to see it. Let me go in now on the other side as well. You all so easy to apply. What I always say is I'm not a makeup artist by any means. I just really like makeup and skincare. I love to have a flawless foundation. That's why I'm so passionate about the foundation. I'm self-conscious about the way that my skin looks. I feel like when I don't have on foundation, all people are looking at is my skin. And I want them to hear what I'm saying and not be distracted by whatever is going on with my face. So. This foundation gives me so much confidence because look at how look at how flawless it is and it's easy, you all. I'm not a makeup artist. That's what I always, always say. I'm not a makeup artist. I need something that is easy. And I find a lot of times with your drugstore products, when you put them on, you have to really work them and blend them to get them to sit right on your skin. And that's not the case with the unique products. They just sit really, really nicely on the skin and they're long wearing. I'm going to go in next with my setting spray. I normally don't do the spray just because for me personally, the powder absorbs oils that your skin produces throughout the day that causes your makeup to break down. The setting spray is like hairspray for your face. I more am on the oily side. So that's what I normally focus on. But this is part of the special. Okay, you just spray it on your face, let it dry, and that's it. So I'm gonna jump off here. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of mascara, a little bit of lip products, and call it a day. I hope you enjoyed the eye tutorial that you saw, just how quick and easy the powder can be, how light it can be. It doesn't have to be full coverage if you don't want it to be. It can be full coverage if you want it to be. Tools are key. I talk about that all the time. So tomorrow you wanna make sure you join me because I'm gonna show you how you can get 
medium coverage with a different brush with the new Complexion Plus powder. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.